Welcome to Sydney's Road to Success. In this video, we're going to be doing our bi-weekly budgeting for the month of December, mid-December. So if you're interested in watching, please stay tuned. All right, so we're going to start with the date. December 17th, 2021. And then income sources. So to do work too because that's the most recent one and that's the largest amount and that was December that was today actually December 17th and that amount was 2000 and then my work one which is just my first employment for this year which was December 9th and that one was 260 so in total, we have $2,260 that we're going to be working with. So I skip these for now. Monthly expenses remain the same. So technically this is the theoretical amount, as always. Remains the same. Remains the same same which should be 699 I'll just double check yep 699. Okay, and then we're going to move on to the cash envelopes. So basically it's going to be more or less the same amounts that I've been putting in. So groceries, I hope you can see that. So 50, gas, 50, shopping, I'm giving myself 50, dining out is 25, and giving is going to be 25. So this should be 200. Then I kind of added a little, a few things here. So I just put stars beside what I what I keep in my bank just to make it easier so you guys can follow along. So debit, 50, that's part of my investing amount. And then I'm putting 320 because basically, even though I budgeted for my gifts for this year for Christmas, I, was, I did have to go into my debit. Um, to make up for any amounts that I was missing. So I'm just kind of reimbursing myself. So that's what this amount in the extra is for. Um, then for credit, the usual amount. So half of my phone, half of subscriptions, and then extra for any parking that I have to do for work. Car insurance, half of that. Rent, half of the theoretical amount which is I say theoretical it's just kind of what I want to be putting um what I want to save up what I want to put for to save up for it emergency same 50 50 and 50 now we're going to go down to student loans and fees which is 850 if you heard that, that is just my neighbor's car starting up. Um, so the 850, I didn't take it out. I didn't take it out to do my cash stuffing. I'm just, I just left that in the bank. It's just gonna make it a lot easier. And I made a payment, which we'll see in a bit. Family gets the usual 250. Friends, 20 gifts. I still am giving a 50 because I still have one more thing I wanna get. Vacation, 20, home and furniture, 20, beauty and hair, 20, pets, isn't going to get anything this time. Miscellaneous, 20, and cash savings is 50. So technically this should equal out to 2000, 2060, but just to be sure.
Okay, so there we have it. And then we're gonna move down to the remaining debt. So I made a payment, so how I came about the amount, 850 plus my previous 202 that I had. So that was 1,052. So the remaining balance, so the balance at the time <clears throat> was, oh, sorry, not 3,000, oh my gosh, I wish, 5,438 and nine cents. So even though I'm making payments and even though I believe it's the federal interest has been frozen, I still have provincial interest. So sometimes you'll see that this amount has gone up maybe by a dollar or two. It's because of that. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, this should be a five. Okay, anyway, this should be a five. So if you can't read it, it's 5,435 and nine cents. And then so with that payment, it goes down to 4,383.09. Sorry, it's a bit messy here, but I hope you, you get the gist of everything. So that's the remaining amount that we have. So that's basically it for the budgeting. And next video will be the cash stuffing. So thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed, comment down for any comments, and subscribe if you enjoyed seeing this content. So thank you so much. Bye.